elbow and then the other part of my body is going to continue. I can also start with the wrist first or the fingers first and then send that towards the side. That has a completely different energy to what I did before. You can do it very direct or you could do it very flexible. <laughs> yeah, it's just about disciplining what goes A, B, C, D, right? It's an architecture as well. Architecture married with the feel and sensing is where you hopefully are going to find your way. On every step that you are commencing forward, I would like to see a decision of what happens in your arms. So let's say the very, very basic way of doing that first would be I will take the step and I'll send my arm to the side. Then I'm going to continue through and I'm going to place the other arm. Very nice. So now you, you all get attention to the right, attention to the left. Good. So from here you can choose to lift them up and finish them up. Whenever you place that elbow to the side, try to avoid using it again. So you've got elbow and wrist on its own. So I'm not tilting, dipping, or destroying what I just made in my arm. So you've got the elbow, wrist. Elbow, wrist. Wrist, this is still where it was. Yeah, L. Wrist, L. You feel that? So you make something and you sustain and you continue dancing around it. You don't place it, destroy it. Place it, destroy it. Then it just under speed is going to look like a mess. I have always problems with touching body. Touching body? <laughs> yeah, because when you touch, it's hard to find a good way to touch. Can you come over here? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Can it be one arm at a 